For those who know the Kologi family, the tragic events of New Year's Eve are beyond baffling. Stephen and Linda Kologi, their 18-year-old daughter Brittany, and a 70-year-old family friend were gunned down in a Long Branch home shortly before midnight. The college's 16-year-old son now stands accused of the killings. No motive has been revealed by authorities. Friends and neighbors were at a loss for answers Monday. I just can't understand why, said family friend Veronica Mass, 69, of Union Beach. What happened? I just have no idea. The teen, who faces a court hearing Tuesday on the charges, has not been named by authorities because he is a juvenile. Prosecutors said Monday they intended to seek that he be tried as an adult. He is being held at the Middlesex Youth Detention Facility. The 16-year-old's brother and grandfather were also inside the home, a multi-family house on the 600 block of Wall Street, but were able to escape unharmed, officials said. A 911 call reporting the shooting was made at 11.43 p.m. from inside the home. The teen's parents, Stephen, 44, and Linda Kologi, 42, his sister Brittany Kologi, 18, and family friend, Mary Schultz, 70, of Ocean Township, were pronounced dead at the scene. Police said there was no history of violence at the home. The Century Arm semi-automatic rifle used in the killings was legally obtained and owned by a resident of the house. Mass said she was stunned when she heard the news of the shooting. Linda Kologi and Mass's daughter were close friends growing up together in Jersey City. They were a close-knit family, Mass said. No drugs, no alcohol. Mass said the 16-year-old was homeschooled since fourth or fifth grade because he had emotional problems. Other kids made fun of him, and he wasn't keeping up academically, she said, adding that a teacher told his mother he was learning disabled. He improved dramatically after being homeschooled, Mass said. He learned to read, did his math. He got up to where he was supposed to be. Socially, she said he was outgoing, very friendly. He would tell jokes. Mass was also surprised to learn there was a gun in the home. Big Steve, he did not like any guns in the house, she said. If they owned a gun, I had no knowledge of it. Dot Mass said Linda's sister and her husband live in another unit of the multi-family home and were home when the shooting happened. Jalen Walls, a neighbor who went to high school with Brittany Kologi, also said her brother required special assistance and was cared for by his mother. But he was fully functional and comprehended what we were saying, said Walls, 18. Brittany Kologi was a freshman at Stockton University and was studying health sciences. We are shocked and saddened by the reports of the death of freshman Brittany Kologi under such tragic circumstances, the school said in a statement, adding that counseling is available for her friends and classmates at Stockton. An online fundraiser has raised more than $13,000 to cover the family's funeral expenses.